the Philippine Coast Guard and Philippine Navy opened their doors to modern technology when it comes to equipment. This is to help strengthen and increase the capability and efficiency of both agencies in doing their jobs. The Hoverstar Technologies Incorporated USA led the presentation of H2 and H3 equipment, known as H2 Aqua Jet Dive used for diving and H3 Rescue Jet used for search and rescue operations. The reason why we come to the Philippines is because you have a lot of water here. Basically, there's a need. And in talking to Kate, whose uh, their operations are going, and along with the Navy, working with you guys too, we want to help you do things easier, faster. According to the officials of Philippine Coast Guard and Navy Special Operations Group, it is very important to have these modern technologies to help their people claim their respective duties in saving lives. Actually, these are sophisticated equipment, and it is my vision that these equipment shall be procured by the Philippine Coast Guard. Mm -hmm. Actually, the H2 is uh, a swimmer's propulsion unit. Mm -hmm. So we need that in hydrographic reconnaissance and uh, underwater uh, searching. Oh, okay. And then uh, it will help our diver in saving their energy to avoid them from over okay. So, yun ang mga, mga diseases kasi na na-encounter ng isang diver. When we are working underwater, H3 is, is also good for us. Kailangan namin yan kasi yung H3, when it comes to search and rescue operations, so we need that uh, equipment. Okay. Kasi doon mo ipapatong yung victim. And it so will help us a lot. So, uh, with that, hindi na, hindi na lalangoy yung mga rescuers natin. Well, uh, actually, pretty uh, amazing. Saka na-impress kami dun sa mga bagong produkto na in-offer nila. Kasi, when, when pag-uusapan yung mga diving equipment, yung nasa isip namin is yung mga uh, conventional equipment. Like, yung, yung may tanki ka, tapos yung may rating apparatus. Actually, yun yung naiisip namin. However, nung nag-start na mag-present yung ano natin, yung mga presenter, uh, hindi ko kalain na yung pala yung mga ino-offer nila na product. So, sabi ko, ni-imagine ko, kung magkakaroon kami ng ganitong ano, product, tingin ko mas mapapataas yung ano namin, operational readiness ng unit namin. Especially ng special operation group ng na Philippine Navy, which is the NABSO. These new and modern equipments were presented by the President and CEO of Hoverstar US, Mr. Lee Ricasa. According to him, their main goal is to help save people's lives and make a difference to the world. Being that I am the stateside CEO for uh, Hoverstar, my personal vision is to involve myself in as many corners of the world as possible, um, creating uh, a new way of doing things in the water. We also have devices outside of the water, but a large part of our line in our 911 rescue series has been dedicated to uh, water-driven personnel. So my personal hope and my personal ambition for my company is that we're able to expand um, beyond the, the, the realms of a typical one-track kind of behavior. So, but also having a sophisticated enough product to reach out to those levels of people and still appeal to the general public, which the Hoverstar H2 and H3 have. The presentation ended up on an actual demonstration. The Philippine Coast Guard and the Navy was given the opportunity to have a grasp of how H2 AquaJet works in the water. Bilang diver, ang masasabi ko lang unang-una ma'am is um, isa siyang efficient na equipment. Kasi nga ang sabi ko din, um, bilang isang diver, since hindi natin natural na, uh, since hindi natin natural habitat yung, yung water, so kailangan unang-una talaga, we have the skills and then yung equipment, yun yung dapat tayo magre-rely. So actually ma'am ito, um, sa tingin ko um, magagamit natin siya bilang, uh, sa diving, no? yung pag, for example from Point A, you're going to point B, and then hindi mo na kailangan mag-exert ng ganong ka-effort 
to go to point B so um dahil sa propelling ano niya so um yes ma'am um, um do you think kailangan ng coast guard yes ma'am definitely kailangan siya ng coast guard there's nothing like it there's nothing on the market that we've seen like it that is as affordable or as amenable as this one, meaning uh, most products that have this type of feature are typically designated for military only use or for prof professional use only. This is the first product that we've seen that our company developed from, from the engineering standpoint, from the design standpoint, for all persons considering um, really a 16 and over is what we say, but uh, having brought it to the Coast Guard and seeing the the rainbow of opportunities and its applications, uh, we discovered that this is more of a, of a uh, flexible device uh, for, for anyone and Coast Guard is taking advantage of that. Before the demo was given in the Philippine Coast Guard headquarters in Manila, Philippine Coast Guard in Tagbilaran, Bohol, first tried the H2 Aqua Jet. For the PCG personnel in Tagbilaran, the experience they had with these modern technologies awakened their interest as divers. It's a three gear assembly on his right side. If you look at the bottom of the H2, you have a gear trigger here. While your hand's engaged on the H2, one, two, and three, and throttles. So, so you notice it's very convenient for your hands. You don't have to move anything. The product is surprisingly user-friendly for a beginner. Uh, it is easily, it, you can easily maneuver it underwater even, it's, even if the engine is off and it's almost weightless underwater. It's for me to prevent it instead of, for example, just uh, there's an industry operation, you can just Use it easily instead of making use of oxygen and making setting up, setting it up. You can go free dive by just using that. By just using this, you can rescue some. This test, uh, very good. Thank you. I touch my. If I control my. Yeah. Yeah. Knowing these technologies from Hoverstar, leadership of Philippine Coast Guard and Philippine Navy is hoping that through their newly approved annual badge check for 2018, they can procure such equipments for their respective agencies. Do you think it is really possible for you to acquire all this considering the fact that you have your badge check with you? Yes, of course. Okay. So we can just request that we, we can just request the fund uh, to be programmed on our APP or annual annual procurement plan. So we will try to request as the end user the letter will originate from my unit and then we will address it to higher headquarters. Then higher headquarters will will do the will address the letter to the Department of Budget. Uh, definitely, the the, the product uh, will uh, help the capability of the Navy, uh, considering those, uh, the, the specs that, it, that the product can offer. So I believe that it can uh, increase the effectivity and efficiency of the Philippine Navy. Jinky Batikados, IBC 13, Philippines.